Hey, what's up everyone? So this video is going to be a little bit different than my other Skyblock from Scratch videos. Basically in the last Skyblock from Scratch video, which was Skyblock from Scratch 9, I got all the Slayer bosses, got the Mana Flux, and I did pretty well. However, this video was originally just kind of going to be added to the end as like a complete Slayer guide, exactly how to kill every Slayer, including the Tier 4s, that sucked, and how to get all the basic Slayer items you needed, like the Talismans and the Radiant Power Orb or the Mana Flux if you were ready for a little bit more of a grind. So if there's any awkward transitions in this video or awkward cuts I tried my very best to cut those out but unfortunately because this was supposed to be at the end of another video it's gonna be a little strange all right so now I have a list for all the slayer bosses you should do what order and whatnot basically this list is to help people get to a good standing in slayer so that they can kill all the bosses and really be able to start grinding slayers if they so choose or just have the basic items that they need from slayers before you begin you will need strong dragon armor an aspect of the dragons a somewhat decent skill average like 20 maybe a good amount of talismans god pots all the time if you have the booster cookies and you can just get the 24 hour god splash it's so much easier to get than just regular god splashes and at least six million coins but if you're gonna go for better stuff like i did with like the mana flux you're gonna need 10 million and i added this in here before i knew that they had regen 8 with the 24 hour god splash but if you're not using that god splash and you just get regular god splashes from people in lobbies then you should definitely use regen 7 if you're struggling. Also, one thing I forgot to mention on the list of things that you need, you don't absolutely need this, but I strongly recommend it. You should get a legendary wolf pet. As you can see, it boosts your combat XP by up to 30%, which is insane. Plus, you take less damage from wolves and you gain more crit damage for every wolf monster nearby. So when the wolf pack master spawns all of his puppies, it's super easy to kill him. Because yeah, we hate puppies. I'm just kidding. I love puppies. Puppies are so cute. I just needed to make the joke. PETA, please don't kill me. Anyway, this is about 2.5 5 million coins. It's relatively pricey and it's not required that you have it, but again, it is very, very helpful. So I've already done all of these slayers, obviously, because I have the Maddox Bat Phone and I also have the Mana Flux Power Orb. However, I will not be using these. Well, I'll be using the Maddox Bat Phone just to save time, but I won't be using the Mana Flux Power Orb for the earlier slayers until we unlock this. Step one, add the Strange Reforge to all epic and uncommon accessories. Basically, for these two specific rarities of accessories, you get bonus attack speed, which helps you deal more damage per second which is the obvious choice for slayers. You also want to add Itchy to all of your rare talismans for plus 1% attack speed and also a decent amount of crit damage. If you have any legendary talismans, it doesn't really matter what you put on them and neither do commons. So whenever you're starting a slayer quest, until you get the Maddox bat phone, you are going to have to go to the bar and talk to Maddox every single time and it really sucks, but it doesn't last all that long. Step 2, kill a Revenant Horror Tier 1 boss. For all zombie slayer bosses, you are going to want to be in the crypt because it has the highest level zombies in the game and the most zombies in the game, meaning you can spawn your boss super quick. Oh no, I forgot my sword. Whatever shall I do? Die! Oh, he died in one hit. Step three, kill a Revenant Horror Tier 2 boss. Oh gosh, here we go. Oh my gosh, he has 20,000 health. How am I supposed to counter that? Ugh, I guess I'll just have to use a sword. Hey, I got foul flesh. Step four, kill a Tarantula Broodfather 1. Oh no, Rusty the Janitor stole my sword again. Whatever shall I do? Die! Die! That one actually took two hits. I don't know why I keep forgetting to mention this, but for locations, the spider's den is obviously where you want to kill spider bosses because it's the only area with spiders. Step five, kill a tarantula broodfather two boss. Oh, I forgot to mention this at the start, but I recommend having a bow just so you can kill these monsters quickly. I mean, you can do this without a bow, but a bow just makes this like five times easier. Oh gosh, huh. Oh my god, he has 30,000 health. Die. Step six, kill a Wolf Slayer 1 boss. I personally like the ruins just because there's less people here and I can control if I'm in a private lobby or not. Oh no, Rusty the janitor didn't steal my sword this time. I just wanted to show you how easy it was to kill this boss. I did it. Step seven, kill a Wolf Slayer level two boss. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to use a sword for this boss. Just, just please die. There you go. Step 8, kill two Wolf Slayer level 3 bosses. Alright, so this is the boss where you actually have to start putting thought into what you're doing, because if you mess up with this boss, it's really gonna hurt. So basically, whenever you're fighting a harder difficulty wolf boss, you always, always want to stay in the water. As you can see, the wolf is having a hard time getting to me, and if he would actually get in the water, please get in the water so I can show people how slow you are in the water. There you go. But as you can see in the water, I have almost complete control of what the boss is doing, and I can just super easily combo him. When he spawns the pups, just don't even worry about them. Just continue to go for the wolf. And just like that, you should be able to kill your first tier three wolf boss. Unfortunately, the tier four is not that easy and you actually do 
have to do some other stuff to kill that one, but we'll go over that as well. So do that one more time and then you can move on to the next step. By now, you should be Zombie Slayer level 2 because it's only 25 XP, Spider Slayer level 2 because it's also only 25 XP, and you got 30 total from killing a tier 1 and a tier 2 of both of these bosses, and you should also be Sven Packmaster level 3. That was why I had you kill two tier 3s instead of just one. So go ahead and claim all those rewards, and you now have access to the Maddox Batphone. You also just got access to three more accessories, the Wolf Ring, the spider ring, and the zombie ring. I strongly, strongly recommend both the zombie ring and the spider ring, and they're also super cheap. I think in total they're about 300 to 400,000 for both of them, and the itchy wolf ring is around 1 million coins, but it's definitely worth it, and it'll definitely help you out with the wolf slayers. As you can see, these accessories reduce the damage of their corresponding slayer by 10%, so really, really helpful, especially when the slayer deals ridiculous damage. Step 11, I'm sorry you're really gonna hate me after this one, but don't worry, it's not that bad. You're gonna need to kill 13 wolf slayer level three bosses. Step 12, you should be Wolf Slayer level four by now because you should have 1500 XP and that means that you get access to Mastiff Armor. Mastiff Armor is actually pretty cheap considering how good it is. You might need to do some grinding to get the growth set or you could just buy it off the auction house. But in total, this entire crafting recipe should only cost you about 3.5 to 4 million coins. Add growth and reforge to fierce for all the pieces of this armor set. Step 13, craft a Shaman Sword. As you can see, this sword is really nice because we deal one extra damage for every 50 max HP we have. Also, you receive 20% less damage from wolves. Don't worry about adding in chance of this sword, just get all the basics. Sharpness 5, Critical 5, First Strike 4, Giant Killer 5, Execute 5, Lethality 5, Vampirism 5, Lifesteal 3, and Telekinesis 1. You are also going to want to craft a Radiant Power Orb to heal 1% of your max HP per second. This orb is incredibly good and it really, really helps out. Step 14, equip your Mastiff Armor and your Shaman Sword and you're going to have to attempt your first Wolf Slayer level 4. Part of the reason you needed so much money at the beginning is because these bosses are expensive. They're 50,000 coins each and that's per boss. So right here I have a Sven follower, so I'll just go ahead and follow, or make him follow me, to this water pool so that when I spawn the boss, I am ready. Alright, so when you spawn your boss, place down your orb, try to get the boss in the water, and just keep hitting it. Every couple of seconds, walk up to the boss and let him hit you so that he doesn't regenerate health. As you can see, I'm just beating up the boss, and every once in a while, I let him hit me. And it's also nice to have Depth Strider. It's not required, but, you know, it just lets you move around the water quickly. This boss is going to take a little bit of time, but as you can see, we are hitting him relatively quickly. And if we just let him hit us every once in a while, he will not regenerate health, which means that we don't have to kill him again technically. Once he spawns the pups, you don't have to let him hit you because he will not regenerate health after this point. At this point, just ignore the pups completely and beat the crap out of this dog. I'm sorry, PETA. Always make sure that your orb is placed down because if things go south and you start taking a lot of damage, you will die so quickly if you don't have that orb placed down. Just stick with it, keep hitting the boss, even if he teleports to you, you should be fine, and soon you will kill it. Ooh, hamster wheels. For step 15, if you are unable to kill a tier 4 wolf boss, try leveling up combat, getting more accessories, or maybe just play the game a little bit more before you try it. Step 16, claim your Slayer XP, have a brief moment of accomplishment, and then immediately turn around and kill 37 more of those bosses. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to kill 37 more. If you're not going for the Mana Flux Power Orb, which I strongly, strongly recommend you go for, then you can kill seven more. But again, I super, super strongly recommend the Mana Flux Power Orb. It's basically like the Radiant Power Orb, but it's 10 times better, maybe not 10 times. Once you've killed all 36 additional bosses, you should be ready to craft the Mana Flux Power Orb, meaning you should be Wolf Slayer level six. This will cost you around three and a half million coins because it does require quite a few golden teeth but honestly for how good this item is it's a small price to pay it's so pretty i wasted two hours for this switch back to your strong dragon armor and your aspect of the dragons we'll be using this for the rest of the tutorial head back to the crypt and kill a zombie slayer level three this boss isn't too difficult and especially if you got the mana flux power orb you can pretty much infinitely get hit by it so just stab it a few times and you should be okay St Step number 19, kill a zombie slayer level 4. This is where the bosses really, really start to get high skilled. If you mess up one thing with these bosses, you're pretty much dead. Alright, so spawn your boss, put down your mana flux power orb or radiant if you still have that, and then you're gonna sit in a corner and start hitting the boss. But, you're gonna need to move out of that corner and move back into the corner so he doesn't hit you for the afk well it's not afk but if you stand in one place too long he will hit you to try to bring you towards him and he deals ridiculous damage i honestly think that he one tapped me one time when i was experimenting with how this method worked so just kind of move around the boss try to hit him as much as you can and if he turns enraged get out of there he will obliterate you always always make sure that you have your orb placed or you will be so screwed 
Okay, he's in for he's enraged. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna try to kill some of these bosses or not bosses, just crypt ghouls to try to get some HP back. And I'm literally just gonna wait until he turns back normal. There you go. When he's enraged, he deals so much damage. It's absurd. It's like if you drank a strength 30 pot. Here we go. Dead. Step 20. Grab your XP and kill nine more. Once you've killed nine more Zombie Slayer bosses, you should get to Zombie Slayer level five. Claim those rewards, you earned it. Step 21, kill a Tarantula Slayer level three boss. So this boss is still dangerous, but it is not nearly as difficult as the Tarantula Slayer tier four is gonna be. Basically, you're just gonna back into a corner so he can't jump behind you and then just beat him up. Why do you have to do this to me? Please stop hitting it. Okay, never mind. Step 22, attempt to kill a Tarantula Broodfather tier four. This is easily the hardest boss that they have right now. Well, not including the dungeon bosses. This is easily the hardest Slayer boss they have right now. Yeah, there we go. That's right. All right, here's my boss. I'm going to get into this corner, place down my orb, and then just beat this thing up. Absolutely beat him up. What are you doing? No, please stop beating up my boss for me. See, that was mean because I wanted to get Slayer level five as like my thing, but... I guess not. I'll just I'll just do another one just to show you how to actually do it and not get lucky and let people beat it up for you. All right, here we go. I spawned my boss. I'm going to get into this corner and just spam the boss. I'm literally just butterfly clicking as fast as I possibly can. Why is the lobby lagging? Please stop lagging. Okay, I died because the freaking lobby was lagging. I'm telling you, this boss is actually pretty difficult. As you can see, I didn't hit it because the lobby was lagging and I immediately died. All right, here we go. Boss is spawning. I'm gonna get into a corner and just start beating up this boss. Fortunately, the server isn't lagging. The key to this boss is just to always, always hit it. If you're not constantly hitting this boss, he's gonna drain your health, and it's really, really not fun. So it looks like my orb is gonna run out in about three seconds, so I'll go ahead and place down a new one and just continue to hit the boss. As you can see, even with the orb, lifesteal, and regen eight in the god pots, I'm still kind of struggling to keep up my health. There's that boss done, and for step 23, remember how much fun I had with that one boss? I'm sorry, but you have to kill nine more. For step 24, if you have any Slayer rewards that you have not yet claimed, go ahead and claim those. Finally, after that entire grind, which in all honesty probably took me about four to five hours. I don't know how long it'll take you because everyone's different. But after that entire grind, step 25, congratulations, you are now done. Why did you do that, Mr. Skeleton? You know what? Just So the good news is you're done with Slayers for now. Keyword for now. Basically, the main reason we did this was for the Mana Flux Orb. I don't know, dude. I'm done with Slayers for now. That took up most of my free time this weekend. So I know this isn't really related to my Skyblock from Scratch profile, but I'm on the main profile, and I just collected all 28 minions, and oh my gosh, we got some money. So we just got, you know, a decent sum of about seven and a half million coins so back to the topic of the skyblock from scratch profile i emptied out all the minions and stuff and sold those materials and i got another million and a half coins there's about another million coins so i'm actually doing really well on money for this profile right now i actually have 15 million coins in my bank which is pretty nice so as we all know hypixel added that minion upgrade addition to their game so basically i can have more minion slots so to accommodate for that i'm gonna go ahead and expand the magma cube farm so it can accommodate six more minions that way if i do decide to unlock any more minion slots through crafting new minions i'll actually be able to just place them down in the magma cube farm all right so i increased the magma farm so that i could hold six more magma cube minions bringing this total up to 26. i doubt i will ever get that many minion slots but it'll be nice to have that much storage base just in case that does happen so I don't have to expand the farm again. With that out of the way, you may remember that I was actually going to put minion expanders in both of the upgrade slots for all the minions to increase their speed by up to 10%. And as you can see, quartz prices have dropped enough that I'm comfortable spending a bunch of money now. I need 640 enchanted quartz. That's a lot. All right, so that was actually much cheaper than 2.5 million coins. I only had to spend 1.6 million coins, so I'm very, very glad that I waited. But as you can see, I get some minion expanders now. And I also just realized that I don't even have enough inventory space to store all these. So our minions time between actions goes from 17 seconds 
And when we put in both minion expanders, it goes down to 15.35, which is a pretty good improvement. So that's 20 minions with two minion expanders each for 40 total minion expanders. Ah, what a waste of money. Actually, unlike most of the things I've done, this should actually make me some decent profit. I might make a little bit more. So my super quick calculations show that this should, in theory, make me about 200,000 more coins per day. So my investment will pay off in about a week. After that, it's pure profit. Now that I'm Zombie Slayer level 5, Spider Slayer level 5, and Wolf Slayer level 6, and I have my Mana Flux Power Orb, I think I'm going to end the episode. That took a really, really long time. But the good news is, I'm done. For now. Yay! please kill me. Thank you guys a ton for all the support. My channel has been kind of not blowing up as much as it did, but kind of blowing up again, which I don't even know how that's possible. My last couple of videos have done super, super good, and I don't honestly know why, but I'm not complaining. Anyways, thank you a ton for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!